Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Find your dream aviation and aerospace jobs at www.wingsofarrow.in. Now we are going to learn about how to find the strength of the steady state starting vortex at the trailing edge of an airfoil. Consider a NACA 2412 airfoil in an airstream at sea level conditions. The free stream velocity is 70 meter per second. The lift per unit span is 1254 newton per meter. Calculate the strength of the steady state starting vortex. Given data. Here the free stream velocity V infinity is 70 meter per second and the lift per unit span L dash is 1254 newton per meter. Now we have to find out the strength of the steady state starting vertex. As we know that the Kutta Jokaski theorem relates the lift generated by an airfoil to the speed of the airfoil through the fluid and the density of the fluid and the circulation around the airfoil. So we can write L dash is equal to rho infinity into V infinity into gamma, where L dash is the lift per unit span and rho infinity is the density of the flow v infinity is the free stream velocity and gamma is the circulation. From this we can write the circulation associated with the flow over the airfoil. Then gamma is equal to L dash divided by rho infinity into v infinity where we know the values of L dash and v infinity. At standard sea level the density rho infinity is 1.23 kilogram per meter cube. Now substitute those values in this equation and simplify we get gamma is 14.56 meter square per second. In real life the velocity tends toward a very large finite number. Consequently during the very first moments after the flow is started a thin region of very large velocity gradients is formed at the trailing edge. This high water city region is fixed to the same fluid elements and consequently it is flushed downstream as the fluid elements begin to move downstream from the trailing edge. As it moves downstream this thin sheet of intense water city is unstable and it tends to roll up and form a picture similar to a point vortex. This vortex is called the starting vortex. Referring to the figure, the steady state starting vortex has strength equal and opposite to the circulation around the airfoil. Hence, the required strength of starting vortex is minus 14.56 meter square per second. Did you know? Crashing in paradise. In 2013, Lion Air Flight 904 was trying to land in Bali, Indonesia when it overshot the runway and landed in the water. There had been some rain in the area and the final report blamed poor communication between the pilots and inadequate training for the crash. The plane broke into two pieces and rescuers used to rubber boats to evacuate the passengers and crew. Several people on board were injured and none were killed. And if there is a place for your plane to end up in the water, it might as well be Bali. Broken in three. On December 22, 2009, American Airlines Flight 331 attempted a difficult landing through a tailwind and a rainstorm and ended up overrunning the runway in Kingston, Jamaica. The landing was violent enough to crack the plane into three pieces. Luckily, the fences that were in place to keep a plane from skidding into the water worked, and everybody on board survived with minimal injury. Outdated model Air China had already been struggling with a poor air safety record 
when a China Airlines plane crashed in the Taiwan Strait in 2002. The plane completely disintegrated in midair so quickly that the crew did not even have time to send the distress signal. The 22-year-old plane was the only one of its kind still in passenger service and it was due to be disposed of the following month. The cause of the crash was likely structural failure. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired and fly high.